If you've been on Instagram lately, you might have come across this kind of collage type of reels where they take a bunch of their photos and then like pile them on top of each other and make it look really aesthetic. So today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how you can do your own version of that. This type of reel might look a little bit intimidating at first because it looks a little bit complicated because it's like really fast paced. That is kind of the key here, but I'll get more into that later. But the only thing that you're going to need today is two apps and they're completely for free. And before we even get started with that, something that really helped me in this process is to create a photo album on my phone of all all the images that I want to use for the edit because it really really helps streamline the process later. Now that I have all of my images saved in an album, I can get started with the first app which is going to be PixArt. So I called it Photo Collage and you can see here already that I have everything ready to go. I already know what I want to use. The first thing that we're going to want to do in this app is to crop everything, okay? Because that's kind of like how you're going to create that collage effect. So take this shadow image for example. I want to use this image as part of the collage. So what we're going to first do is use the cutout tool. I'm just going to tap on the outline button and then trace over the area that I want to have that collage cut out from and then press the arrow for next so you can see it's already highlighted in red and you can come into the erase tool and just start refining if you want and you can tap on the tool again to adjust the size so the good thing about this trend that I really really like is that the cutouts actually don't have to be neat in any way that's kind of what gives it the like scrapbook effect so when you are thinking of cutting things out it doesn't have to be to the dot like really really accurate you can make it that way if you want such a clean edit it, but you also don't have to have that so it's really up to your preference once I'm happy with the cutout I'm just gonna press save and you can see here there is no background here and just your cutout so I'm gonna press next press save and that should save into your photo album so take all the other images that you want to create for this compilation and do the exact same thing for a more stylistic effect I suggest that you actually do the cutouts in different styles and variations so don't have all of them cropped in the same ways maybe some of them you can have it tighter to the subject and then some of them a little bit messier and that will really help you create like a really nice scrapbook effect here. Now that you have all your images cropped without a background, we're going to be moving on to the editing part and today I'm going to be using the app CapCut. You're going to start a new project and then import all of the images that you want to use for this compilation without the crop first. Something that's really helpful is to have the music that you want to use in mind already so that you know how you want the whole piece to look because the first thing that you want to do is actually rearrange all of the images in the order that you want it to come up for the final edit. As you can see, these are the images that I want to be using for my final edit and there's not that many but I do suggest at least like maybe like eight to ten images at the very least because you want to have like a bunch of different pictures come on and like have it be really fast paced. I think that's really what creates that nice effect that people will get really drawn into you know because you know obviously people's attention span is really short nowadays and that can really mess up with the pacing. This is just my example over here. So what you can do to rearrange it is hold on to it and then just drag. So now I just want to shorten the time for each image. I would say like maybe 1.5. 1.5 might even be too long. I'll have the final details and like information on how long each clip should be and all of that on my Instagram so go check that over there if you want to like follow me for the inspo and like the song choice and the pacing and all of that. So now it's time to add the cropped images that we just created. You're gonna press the overlay button and add overlay and just start adding all the cropped images. Once you've imported everything you can kind of start to see how the scrapbook effect can look so now just slide the cropped images underneath the actual image. Trim the end of the cropped so it doesn't ever go over the actual image like so. I'm gonna use the shadow image as an example okay because I think it's like the most obvious that you can see. So obviously my crop over here is very very out of place and you can see the two images right? So what I'm gonna want to do first is actually resize the cropped image to match the actual image size and because you actually use the original image to crop it it should fit exactly right. So what you can do is use two fingers to pinch until the size is exactly how it should look. A tool that could also be really helpful in this scenario is if you use the opacity tool on the bottom here and just kind of lower the opacity so you can see where your crop lands and you can see the difference between your crop and the actual image so you can just adjust to that. Once you've replaced all of the cropped images on top of the original it should look something like this. I can see that this bowl over here I've cropped it out and then the next image it fits almost exactly right and don't worry too much if it's like not to the dot exact because it's just gonna go by really quickly it's not that serious but it would look really really good if you can match it up exactly like it is but again it's it's not that big a deal you can start to see it's coming together right so just do that with all the other images the next thing that you're gonna want to do is to make sure in the timeline that this cropped image doesn't overlap the original image so let me take this bowl image as an example when you see the bowl image come up from the previous image 
The minute it hits the original image, I'm going to actually take this overlay and just shorten the clip in the timeline like this. So again, with the image over here of me like this, the minute the actual image comes on, again, I'm just gonna shorten the clip like this. The reason why you wanna do that is so that it doesn't overlap into the next crop collage. So for example, with this boat image over here, if I don't shorten the clip, this is what happens. And you can have that for stylistic effects, but for today, this style and like the vibe that we're going for is for it to like fulfill the whole image after the cropped piece. It's almost like it's revealing the next image, the next slide, okay? That's kind of this trend going on right now. Don't forget that because we're using CapCut, they also have have effects and animations that you can use. Tap on the overlay layer, click animation, press in, and explore the different options they have to play around with for more variation to your edit. And then the last thing to know is to see where you want the cropped image to come in. So this is really where the music is going to come into play. I always recommend kind of having an idea of the song that you want to use because you want to have like the timing and pacing just flow really nicely. If you follow the steps of this tutorial, your final reel should look something like this. I will also be posting it on my Instagram and on Shorts. If you do try out this trend from this tutorial, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it and I would love to share it. Go follow me over there for more creative content because I post other stuff over there too. And if this video has helped you out, please give it a like because it helps me out when you do that and helps me understand what you guys enjoy and like what you guys want to learn more of. Comment down below, of course, if you have any questions or if you want to try out other things that you are not sure of how to do, I will try my best to give you a tutorial on it as well. Also subscribe to this channel to join the creative community. I would love to have you here. So with that being said, go create a life that you're proud of. See you next time. Bye.